All right, thank you very much, Jane. We're back in studio. We are talking about these. I call it vintage bling. And Brandy, <laughs> this is something. You, have you seen this before? I haven't seen this before, but I I love the idea because you were saying that some of these buttons come came off of um, clothing that grandmothers have worn Correct. and things like that. And I think that's such a wonderful idea because people have these in their closets and they don't want to wear them, right. but this is a great right. idea. To it, it's, it's a great way to bring some of the past into the present, Absolutely. make it a little bit more hip, and then also you can kind of mix and match. We're talking about these button rings this morning, mm -hmm. and we have my beautiful mother here. She, she <laughs> I is was going to say, a, when are you going to introduce She is such a is. sucker to come on this show. <laughs> I always beg and plead for her to come on, because she has great crafty ideas. And this morning we're talking about these button rings, Mom, and you say, where's the best place to look for buttons? Well, it's kind of fun to go through things that have a personal or a memory for you. And so this was um, Grandma Brower's that she had that her brother Shout out to Grandma Brower. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's just kind of interesting to see how they store them. So it's fun to go through them. So I went through hers the other day, and then I had a bunch of buttons from my grandmother. And so this ring here was a button of my grandmother's, as was this one here. And it's just fun to have a little bit of memory with them and wear them and you think about them and so I challenge you to look for mm -hmm. ways to find them. I gathered up some of my old neighbors little I button different <laughs> containers that they keep them in so here's a this was her mother's oh. can and I keep mine in an old clamp jar and mm -hmm. some people have baskets but look around ask your grandmothers where they maybe keep their buttons that they've saved through the years and see if you can't find something that you can use for a ring a little later in the show we're actually going to show how to make these button rings but uh, what would make a good button ring because obviously you know we in the, here we have some of these that are the uh, the two hold ones and we got some that's that are right. more of a floral or a bigger what would make a good button ring lots of times I choose the ones that you can just clip the shank off the back of okay. and stuff and you can even you know these are really pretty little buttons that I just picked up at, as you can see Walmart. Mm -hmm. And you just cut the little plastic shank off the back and, and glue them. So it makes them kind of fun just to look for things in your stores today to see what looks. And they do have vintage buttons that you can buy also. So if you don't have any left from grandma or somebody else has beat you to that, <laughs> you can go and look at those vintage buttons also. So And okay. you can buy these at the craft store as well, right? That is right. Okay. Yep, okay. these are at the craft store. So you just Great. have this little flat thing and we'll... And put some yeah, together bit, for you guys. Okay. A little bit later in the show, we're actually going to show the assembly process of how to put these button rings together. All right.